Thank you for taking just a few minutes to learn more about the CCS Easy App Links for use with the Microchip PIC devices. Easy App Links is a free application for Android and iOS devices that allows for wireless connectivity from a PIC microcontroller and the RN4020 Bluetooth module. No app development experience is needed. The Easy App Library, which is included with the CCS IDE compilers, allows the GUI on the app to be created at runtime over the Bluetooth connection. Easy App Link supports a number of different possible GUI elements, including gas gauges, sliders, buttons, text edit fields, spinners, and pull down menus. The app also supports various simple-to-use styling components to allow for further customization of your GUI, such as sizes, color, and the spacing and alignment of text, buttons, and fields. Let's see this work. First, open up the CCS IDE. Now click on the File tab to open source code from the examples directory of the compiler. Scroll over to the file named ex underscore ez app underscore pot dot c and click open. Each field that you want to add to the app's GUI must be given an index to allow for interfacing with the field. Indexes are initially set to ez app underscore field underscore index underscore invalid to help identify if there are any errors in creating the field. The hardware initialization function is defined in ex underscore easy app underscore common dot h. It sets up the ADC ports, the comparator, and the Bluetooth flow control for the PIC device. The ADC initialization function initializes the ADC peripheral on the development board. As highlighted, this function sets the ADC channel to read from. In this case, we are looking at channel 0. The Easy App init function initializes the Bluetooth module and Easy App library for use. To set the title that will appear at the top of the application, use the Easy App Set Title ROM function. Our example shows the title being set to ex underscore easy app underscore pot C. Notice the highlighted text. This is where the field is actually set up. The function Easy App Add Field Analog Value returns the next available index number to be assigned to pot index. The attributes of Easy App Add Field Analog Value are as follows. ADC0 underscore STR is a label for this GUI element, which is defined in the ex underscore Easy App underscore common dot h file. Easy App underscore Analog underscore Type underscore Gauge identifies an analog field type. This example we are using a gas gauge. A list of possible analog types can be found in the Easy App library. And finally, ADC underscore max is the maximum analog value to from the PIC microcontroller. This is also defined in the EX underscore Easy App underscore common.h file. Please take a moment to look at the highlighted text. This is a simple way to create a loop that never stops. Everything within these curly braces will run until the board is powered down. You can also use the restart underscore WDT function which restarts the device's watchdog timer. This must be done periodically to prevent the processor from resetting. The highlighted function hw underscore task is defined in the ex underscore easy app 
underscore common.h file and performs any routine tasks that are related to the hardware. Easy App Task is a function that checks if any requests have been made from the host's smartphone or tablet and runs the corresponding methods for any requests found. Finally, the function Easy App Set Value is where the ADC value is actually being set to the GUI element. This function takes the value passed into the second parameter. In this case, the value returned from ADC underscore read and sets it as the value for the field at the passed in index for pot index. This example is all ready, so let's program the PIC microcontroller. First, we must compile the program. Select the Compile ribbon in the IDE and click on the Build icon. After the build is completed and shows no errors, go ahead and connect the board to the PC using a serial cable. Put the board into bootloader mode by holding down button B4 and reset the board. If this is your first time bootloading, the baud rate will need to be changed in the editor. To do this, open the Tools ribbon and click on the Serial Port Monitor icon. In the Serial Port Monitor software, go to the Configuration ribbon and select Port Options. Change the COM port to the serial port that is being used for the connection. Change the baud rate to 19200 and press OK. Now go back to the Compiler IDE and Compile ribbon. Click on the arrow next to Program and select Bootloader. The program will now be loaded onto the chip. After the programming is completed, we can connect to the PIC with our smartphone or tablet. Open the Easy App Links application from a smartphone or tablet and select Scan for Local Devices. Select your device from the list and the GUI we created will load. Let's try this out. Turn the potentiometer on the development board. Watch the gauge in the application GUI that will update to represent the change. The Easy App Library is free with all IDE compilers after version 5.032. CCS continues to add and update the features available for use with the library in the Easy App Links development kit, which is now available at CCS Online. For more information, go to www.ccsinfo.com slash easy app. Now it is easier than ever to quickly create a wireless sensor or controller on a PIC MCU that may be viewed and displayed on a mobile device using Bluetooth.